Excuse me. Oh, no. Whatever it is, keep it to yourself. Better that way. <laughs> All right, let's check out this weaponry place. I didn't notice it before. Hey there. It's the new guy. That's you, right? The new guy? Word kind of travels fast in Diamond City. What can I say? Name's Arturo Rodriguez. If you need protection, let's talk. All right. So you know weapons, huh? Listen, I can sell you guns, swords, whatever. And they'll keep you alive for sure. But the real secret is in the mods. The little personal touches. Install a scope, expand the clip size, whatever. You spend time with your gear, and you'll have the right answer to every problem. Anyway, let's get back to you and what kind of protection you need. Sure. Let's take a look. Something for everyone. All right, let's see what we got. Uh, he's got a lot of ammo. Ooh, two, two millimeter electromagnetic cartridge. Obviously, that's probably something that'll be pretty damn useful. Big boy shoots an additional projectile. Holy shit. Holy shit. Hold up, I gotta look at this. Here's a legendary fat man. So I'm assuming it shoots two mini nukes at once, hopefully at the cost of only one. That sounds awesome. But it's 9,000, holy shit. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Electrified Chinese sword. Oh, you can't see the electrified part. Uh, Let's see if he actually has any mods. Will it show it? Let's see. Power armor frame for zero with a value of 3,600. 3, what? Okay. I'm not seeing any of these mods that he keeps on talking about. Are they gonna be all the way at the bottom? Because I actually really would like to buy a mod, right? Go, okay, I need uh, a night vision scope or a tracking scope, and I don't have the ability to make it myself, so boom, you buy it for a lot of money. Deal double damage to the target is at full health. Okay, that sounds nice, but then also very situational. Get the first shot! And then, you well, know, it's just a normal gun after that. What the fuck? You said you would sell mods, man! These aren't mods, you just have ammo and shit! That is so disappointing. Maybe he'll sell it eventually, I don't know. Uh, let's see, I have 508 rounds. Yes, we'll buy some more. The only thing I don't really need to buy more of is probably the 38 rounds, but they're pretty goddamn cheap, so I'll just do it anyways. I always gotta keep some kind of stock of a lot of ammo. Alright. <laughs> Goodbye to the automatic laser pistol. Don't need that. I grabbed that because I wanted to sell it in the first place. Um... We can sell some of these Molotov cocktails. Actually, all of them. God, do I not use those a lot. Oh, my health is super low. Hold up. This better be an emergency. Yeah, look at my health. Patch me up, Doc. Go over your symptoms with me. I'm pretty beat up. Um, gonna need to brace those fractures. Apply some cream for the burns, a few set of stitches. Better get to it. It's funny he says that. <laughs> uh, this is the only time that my health wasn't damaged from Hold like up. a fuckload of shots. Any other complaints? Nope, that's it. Alright, so the cost does go up, it just depends on, like, the extreme nature of it. Jeez. Holy crap. We got to cover up these Don't birds. I guess that would be from radiation. Undefended. High quality protection for sale! Where the fuck is Kiri? There she is. <laughs> Heads up. May I be of assistance? I'm giving my stuff back, I gotta sell it. Trade is good. Yeah, it is. Yoink, yoink. If you're looking to keep your load light, we can shoot the breeze about the old-fashioned pistol, or anything else you need. I'll take a look, sure. Don't forget to stock up on ammo. Alright, here you go. Uh, weapons? Damn it. <laughs> weapons, here, enjoy the- no, not my second love. I probably should get rid of it, I don't use it really, and the ammo it uses is surprisingly really hard to obtain. I mean, obviously I can just buy it, but I just mean it costs a good bit. I always figured that 10mm was not really all that, uh, super good. So, I was hoping I'd just have thousands of it, like we do the 38 round stuff. Alright, what was I selling again? Uh... The 
pipe pistol. We're keeping the Marksman 50 bolt action rifle. Because that does 82 damage, but the moment that I upgrade my violent thing, this violent hardened snipe rifle, to do 50, 50 caliber stuff, we'll sell this. I mean, I should honestly probably sell it now, because the stuff that I can equip on it can't be equipped on the snipe rifle. Because they're different types of things, I think. Well, yeah. yeah, goodbye. Alright. <laughs> I just, I didn't like that one that much. Does a lot of damage, but its scope sucked. Okay, I am trying to find Piper. I just don't I know where she is. Thirsty, Nuka Cola. How do I give you Nuka Cola? Here. Here you go. This only provides temporary relief, but it is a mercy to be sure. Ah, <gasps> oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah. I I have sort of well no no it just depends. Nice pit boy. <laughs> I don't like this place. These people talk more about my pit boy than the play, the people in Goodwill. Where is your sister? The public is here to pull the wool out from under your eyes. Got too much to do that hair? Yeah. Go to Piper's office. Aha! There you go. <laughs> I didn't realize the building extended into it. I thought that her sister was just selling stuff out of a small shack. Glad you dropped by. You holding up, Lou? Why are you calling me that? Cause you're a vault dweller? <laughs> I know you're not wearing a blue jumpsuit right now, but the pit boy and the fish out of water look. Dead giveaways. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and, uh, I'll tell you what, I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. Oh, she can be a companion. Okay. What kind of interview is this going to be? I ask you who you are, get your opinion on life out there, and maybe load up a few tough questions and keep it interesting. What do you say? All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? Well, we were actually frozen. My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. W wait, <laughs> they boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? Yes. I'm over 200 years old. <laughs> oh my god. The man out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? Ooh. Oh, uh, it sucks, but not sucky enough that I want to use that as the option. Honestly, seeing everyone surviving out here, rebuilding the world, it gives me hope. That's surprisingly inspired, Blue. We're definitely quoting that. Now, the uh, big question. Why come to Diamond City? You're looking for someone, aren't you? Who is it? Well, <laughs> Sean! My son, Sean, was kidnapped. He's not even a year old. The parent after the missing child. <sighs> as heartbreaking today as it ever was. Tell me, do you suspect the Institute's involved? I actually have really no idea. <laughs> they could be involved, but I just don't know. Also, our guy needs to realize that Sean might not be a year old anymore. We got put back to sleep. We woke up and then fell and then the thing went back on. It could have been 20 years, 30 years since then. I don't know. No one ever does. That's what makes them so scary. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? Uh, let's see... One day at a time, get revenge, don't lose hope. Uh, I like the one day at a time. At least it sounds like it'll be nice. You can only take it one day at a time. Just keep going. 
That's all anyone can do. We're all just doing what we have to, huh? I think my readers can relate to that. That's everything. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna give Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where the story goes next. Okay. Hey, Piper is available to be your companion. Well... Monsieur, may I borrow you for a moment? What? Is everything all right? On the whole, no. It is not. I have spent much effort gathering information in our travels so far, and my self-diagnostics have come to a green conclusion. It is not lack of data or lack of collaboration which stifles my scientific progress. The inescapable truth is there has never been a great robot scientist. Robots can do amazing things. Surely they've contributed to science. When directed by a human, they have. But on our own, we tread predictable paths. The greatest scientific minds of history, the Einsteins and the Curies, my namesake, have had something beyond raw data analysis capabilities. They have had a spark. This elusive inspiration is something I must possess. Okay, um... How do you plan on doing that? I like this one. You're worrying me. <laughs> so... How are you gonna do that? If I am to advance my understanding of medicine in this strange world, I must embark on a great adventure. I must become human, or as close as I can. I must find a way to download all that I am into a human brain. <laughs> okay! Uh, wow, alright, I mean... Since our thing, maybe we could put you in a human body. I'm willing to help, Curie. And you save me once again. If you find someone, a brain surgeon, an artificial intelligence programmer, or someone who is an expert in matters of the head, please bring me to them. Yeah, I'll definitely try to do that. Start an emergent behavior. Find someone to help Curie. It's just awkward she brought that conversation up as I am about to replace her. could consider themselves a success until someone threatened their life. Me? I'm very successful. Piper. Head my way? You sure you want to travel with me? Well, it's that or get back to writing the paper. I guess the paper can wait. Sure, let's go. Will do. You know, your public occurrences should have scientific articles. You've never met our readers, have you? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> All right, we're sending her back to Sanctuary Hills. Ugh. Well, we basically have what sounds like a loyalty mission. We have to take Curie to someone to get her body downloaded into... something. Alright, well now that she's my companion, I guess I can just take all of her stuff. Ha <laughs> ha! Thank you. But I can't sleep in her bed! Well, that's rude. Well, there's a classic. She's still working on her stuff here. <laughs> Alright, let's read her terminal. We gotta be a super snoop. Alright, article, The Synthetic Truth, we already read that. Reader complaints file. Reader com- uh, oh jeez. Honor the wall! In your most recent edition, your paper failed to acknowledge in any way the contribution of the mighty wall in the defense of our town against last month's supermoon attacks. I find this extremely offensive and will not be purchasing another copy until such disrespect is publicly corrected. Published response. We honor the efforts of all those who involved in the defense uh, uh, of all those involved in the defense of our great city, from our valiant guards to the mighty wall. Personal response. Dear whack job, two members of Diamond City died defending this town. Where was your hunk of plywood for them? Oh. Let's see, I find the choice of topic sad. How about happy story? Maybe something about nice bar? <laughs> that sounds somewhat familiar. Yep, there you go. Thank you for your feedback. Our stories are selected for relevance and importance to the Diamond City uh, populace. Vadim, no story about your bar is going to- oh, oh, it's someone else. Vadim, no story about your bar is going to end happily. Oh wait, okay, I get it now. Published response is them saying stuff in the newspaper. Personal response is probably, uh, Piper talking. Got you. Vadim, no story about your bar is gonna end happily. <laughs> uh, and so I'm assuming the personal response, she sends that to him and then... It's not read out there. For shame. Your paper is just trying to drum up fears about synths to increase sales. You should be ashamed of yourself. 
Thank you for your concern. Our paper makes significant efforts to ensure all our stories are accurate and free from editorializing. <laughs> oh gosh, thank you for concern. I hope you get snatched. Wow. So she's the one who said, uh, onto the, uh, the, uh, the last bit of onto the wall, right? Dear whack job, two members of Diamond City Security died defending this town. Where was your hunk of plywood for them? Yeah. So Pi pl uh, uh, Piper. <laughs> I was gonna call her Plyper. <laughs> Plyper is a good individual, maybe, perhaps. Oh boy. Alone in the upper stands. Dear public, I could use a friend. Everyone in this town is either jealous of me or afraid of me because of how I look and who I work for. I'm not willing to compromise, but I am but well, I am just so people yeah. I'm not willing to compromise who I am just so people will like me more, but I just get so lonely. You but you seem like a smart gal, public. Any chance you want to grab a drink sometime? No. <laughs> Dear alone. Gonna have to take a rain check on that drink, but your instincts are good. New friends crop up in the most unlikely places. You just need to search them out. Teen troubles. Dear public, me and my little girl have been on our own for a little long time now. She's the most important thing in my life, but lately it seems like she's not as interested in hanging out with her papa. I understand she's gonna grow up someday, but I'm not ready to let her go. What do I do to make sure I don't lose my little girl? Dear Troubles, your teen- your girl's becoming her own person. Let her make her own decisions. Screw up. Maybe throw- uh, throw some extra craps her way so she can take her friends out for noodles more often. Then, when she's ready, she'll come to you. Aww. Pay amours. I am torn between two loves. On one hand, I have my profession. Every moment I spend with the young up-and-comers for whom I work, uh, brings such joy. On the other, I have my co-worker. Wise, patient, debonair. Many suggest that I am not lively enough for him, but I can picture life with, with no other. I long to confess my feelings for him, but my life is my work. Trying to add a relationship? It would simply shortchange everyone. I must choose, public, but who? Dear Pear, love is rare. Two? Doubly so. Make it work, Pear. You work in the same building, for shuck's sake. That sounds like the chick who's trying to save Nick Valentine. That's probably something we should do pretty immediately. Uh... Desperate in Diamond City. I've been living in Diamond City for years now, but I've never been able to land a girlfriend. I wear nice clothes and give them free drinks, but they just seem to think I'm some sort of creep. My boss says I've got a face only a mother could love, and I think he's right. I feel I'm like, like I'm out of options, public. Should I ch uh, take the plunge and change my face? Dear Desperate, have you ever tried talking to these girls? You should give it a go. No more trying to buy your way to affection. You need to earn it. And then sleepwalk in the beach. Yeah, public. I got this job. It pays the bills, but lately it's been making it so I can't sleep at night. Things have been so tense. I'm getting worried that if something doesn't change, I might slip up and get myself or someone else hurt. Any advice, public? Dear Beat, sounds like you need to relax more. I know after a hard day solving other people's problems, I like to grab a new Coca-Cola, pull out a stack of comments, a comics, and, and read till I pass out. Give it a try. All right. Piper, I think you and me are going to get along okay, just as long as you don't get too, uh, journalist on me. Yoink. Does she have like three different entrances to her place? I think it was just two. It's big, loud, full of corrupt officials and brown nosing citizens, but it's home. It is home. And hopefully, we can save your home. Have you found someone that can help me become human? No, not yet. Where do you think we can go, though? Any idea where I can find someone? We need someone who is fully trained as a neural surgeon and well-versed with machine-human interfaces. It is no easy thing, but surely someone qualifies? Yeah, maybe somewhere out there. I mean, really highly likely that it'll probably be people at the Institute. Alright, so. Now that we've spent, like, probably an hour in Diamond City talking to people, hanging around, I mean, there's probably still people I need to... See, uh, let's see where other things are. So, find the brewing machine. Look at the map. Emergent behavior. Find someone to help cure you. Will that show on the map? Maybe not. I don't know if it just. I don't know if it put me to Diamond City because it's trying to just look at the map in general, or if someone here could help out with that. Uh, let's see. Find Nick Valentine. Nick Valentine is over here, towards the Swan's Pond. Well, would you look at that? We can do a little bit of work along the way. I can head to the public library, then Hallucigen Inc., and then wind up saving Nick Valentine, and end up heading back into Good Neighbor as well. Nice. I love when everything's along the way. It is hard to determine what 
I mean, whether the surface is more or less susceptible to outbreaks, but a preparation plan is never a bad idea. I agree. All right. I gotta go see the the Babarov brothers, who I'm assuming are the ones who are in the inn. Alert. Think of crab across the tank. The super salon. Hey, Scava. Got plenty of Brahmin meat on the hooks. Wait, what kind of meat is this? You never heard of Brahmin? Big, dumb, got four legs and two heads. They're the only cattle around. Everything's fresh from the Codman family farms. Sometimes. We get weird stuff from the caravans, too. I've got a few minutes to browse. As fresh as it can be. What kind of food can I buy? And then there's ammo. <laughs> I love when there's ammo in random stores. Hey there. I sell clothing items. Also, sometimes some ammo on the sides. Well, this would be a good place to buy... some ingredients, I guess. If I don't want to go out and actually kill a Mylurk for myself, I can buy it here. Blue, can I get a minute? Something I need to do. Uh, okay. Alright. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if she- uh, I was supposed to have a conversation with her, or if she's heading somewhere herself. Excuse me, you got a moment? Uh-oh. Tell me, are you worried about the possible infiltration of Diamond City's ruling elite by synths? Yeah, Piper, I am. But I ain't buying your lousy newspaper. Oh. Uh, well... Thanks, I guess. Busy here. <laughs> oh, she tried. What in the hell is this? We keep you in good! That is a really creepy vlogging picture. Alright, so which Bubberov brother am I gonna have to talk to? Probably, probably the one that's actually working hard. Oh, here we go. Quiet, you feet. Alright, you. Tell me. Diamond City Radio? It's terrible, yes? Makes you want to cut your own ears off. Me? Uh, what's the issue? I like it. So, what's the issue? Have you not listened? This DJ Travis, he's terrible. Makes me want to go back in time and prevent radio from ever being invented. Vadim! It's true! Don't listen to my brother! Jesus Someone Christ! Someone needs to get rid of him. We need a new DJ for the radio. I don't think many would notice if he, you know, disappeared. What the fuck, dude? Are you serious? Did we not just agree this is serious problem? Calls for serious solution. First, you get him to follow you out of town. The oh, Deem? Right. That's this enough. This isn't funny. The Deem isn't serious. He doesn't really want to kill Travis. Okay, what's really going on here? <laughs> Sorry, we was just... Joking around a bit. <laughs> it's true. Only jokes. Travis is a good friend. Yefim and I worry about him. Well, Travis, he, he means well, but he does not have the confidence he needs for that job or anything else, really. And so he's always awkward. He does not believe in himself, you see? He expects he will fail at everything. And so he does. I know a couple people like that. Okay. So, are you actually trying to do something about it? I tell you, themes that I have planned. He does not believe me. You, you and I work on plan. Go on, spoil sport. Go back to working. We will figure out how to help Travis. Come, you. Meet me in back room. We discuss plan. Yeah, okay. Boy, <laughs> I'm feeling, uh. Oh. That was a bad joke. Very, very bad set of joking to around. Might attract someone's attention. I was legitimately worried, like, dude, you, you, you want me to you want me to kill Travis? I can't fucking do that. That's bad. <laughs> I like Travis. You know, we've never really had a nice conversation with him, but if, hey, if we can help Travis get confidence and feel better, that's okay, I guess. Although I always also kind of sometimes believe sometimes you just have to let a person live their life and not try to interrupt them all the way. But sometimes assistance just needs to come around too. Okay. Let us get down to brass tacks. I am glad you are willing to help. Unlike my deadbeat brother. <laughs> Travis is a good guy. He deserves better life. I'm just waiting to hear your idea. Travis needs boost of confidence. You know what does that for him? Winning a bar fight. I'm sure you've been in one, yes? 
Uh, <laughs> I don't actually want to fight Travis with my fist, but okay, I can hold my own. I can hold my own, if that's what you mean. This one's a pretty tough cookie. Exactly what I mean. I want you to back up Travis in his first fight. Oh. I want to stage fight here in dugout. Nothing too serious. Uh, we make sure Travis wins and feels good about himself after. I want you to be there to help make it look real. What do you think? Sound good to you? Sounds like a disaster. I agree with that. <laughs> How would something like that even work? It makes sense. I promise. I have contacts. People I can count on. Real tough looking. But they will take a die for money. They confront Travis here at dugout. You step in and give him push he needs to stand up to them. Then you and Travis take them down. Nothing gets too rough. And Travis is something he can feel good about. Simple, right? If the goons are getting paid to fight, I want some too. All right, fine. You get cut as well. 100 cops. <laughs> more money! I thought Travis was your friend. Isn't he worth more than that? Do not think I miss your attempt to manipulate me. Fine. 200 cops. Ooh, that should have been your limit, buddy, because more! Come on. A guy who owns a bar has to have plenty of cash lying around. Ah! This is extortion! 300 cops, no more! Now you will help! <laughs> yeah, it's too late today for me to arrange. You come back tomorrow evening after 6 o'clock and everything will be ready. Uh, meet Travis in the dugout in after 6 p.m. What time is it now? 9 p.m. Okay. Well, I guess that's an excuse to you go sleep for a bit. Bone structure. Stop by the mega surgery sometime. Oh, hello, Doc. Doctor? Even though I'm a doctor, I admit I have a small vice. A quick drink after work. <laughs> well, you know, as long as it's not during work, you know? Have a nice day. Yefim. Just don't throw up all over my floors. Okie dokes. Ever been up in the stands? Let's just say they can afford a lot of clothes. Alright, we have to sleep for... 20 hours? 24 hours would be 9. So... 21 hours. 20 hours. <laughs> okay. I don't know if, uh... We might actually have to wait one more hour. You ain't nobody. <laughs> I, was just, I just didn't want to, like, come here a little bit too early. No. No, not interested. Suit yourself. We'll just wait one hour. Boom. All right, Yefim. Where the hell is he? Look, Scab. I, mean, you I ain't buying anything. About it if the wasn't ah, yes. You. Famous bobber of liquor. On tap all day. Uh-oh, here's Travis. Just looking. You know where to find me. What? What? What's this about? Maybe I don't like your little radio program. What you have to say about that? You tell him. <clears throat> look, 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 I don't want any trouble. Maybe I don't like your little radio program. What you have to say about that? Oh! <laughs> I like how he repeated himself. What's going hey on there, here? Oh, what's oh, wrong? It's you. Not so tough once you're not on the air. Everything okay here? Does it look okay? Because... No. It is not. <laughs> I don't... I have no idea what I did to deserve this. I just wish they'd go away. Why not stand up to them? No. I mean... No. That would be bad. With these men, it could... Well, it, it, it could turn violent. Ah, don't worry. I got your back. Don't worry. I've got your back. Well, if you think it would work... We're right behind you. Well, okay. That's... Well, that's enough. Oh, I'm sorry. You say something. I said... I said that's enough. Leave me alone. <laughs> Look at you. Hmm, let me think about that for a second. Um, nah, I don't think so. I... I mean it. 
Leave me alone! Well, sounds like you were thinking about saying, or else. <laughs> were you, Travis? Were you gonna say, or else? I'm wondering what comes after that. What you gonna do, little man? Uh -huh. Lou, can I get a minute? I'll Something beat you I up! Big mistake, Travis. I'm gonna destroy you and your friend here. There you go! All right, we're gonna beat the shit out of him. Oh shit! Okay, all right. His oh, other dude came here. Security! Piper, you can't have a minute. We gotta beat these guys up. I'm not doing any fucking damage about this, man. There we go. All right, I had to do a little bit of a heavy hit. Guys, guys, guys! You're not supposed to be hitting for real. I'll hit for real though. Damn, Travis knocked that guy out. Fuck yeah, Travis is doing this on his own. Oh God. Jaw. Bullshit, man. Just... Bullshit. This is bullshit, man. This is not what I signed up for. This ain't over. You hear me? <laughs> I hope Listen that guy doesn't feel bad about it. Come, come. Have a drink. I didn't buy bar to sell water. Hey. I mean... I mean... I mean hi. Again. Uh... Hi? Hi. Hey, Travis. Whoa! I can't believe it! We did it! <sighs> yeah, never doubt me. Knew you could! How do you feel? I'll do this! Uh, I'll ask how he feels. How do you feel now? I don't know. I mean... Wow, I just... Wow! I never thought I could do... Uh, anything like that! That was crazy! Wow! Hey, listen, I, uh... Thanks. That was, well, that was really something. I think maybe I should go lie down now. <laughs> I wonder how that's gonna change the radio, if it ever does change the radio. Where the hell is- you, Scaver. Where the hell is Yafim? Yafim? Hello! Vadim. <laughs> I think that went well! <laughs> Ready for the next part of foolproof plan? There's more? It's not more fighting, is it? No, no. This part is simple. You have seen Scarlet, yes? She has worked here for some time. Now, I am just simple bartender, but I see things. I see how Travis looks at her, and I see that sometimes she looks at him. Uh oh, you trying to hook a brother up? Not her employer suggests that she go spend time with Travis. It might do him some good. Why do I have to be involved in this? Think about it. I am Scarlet's boss. I tell her she needs to go see Travis. Suddenly she is thinking... <laughs> she is no longer just waitress. Just do whatever it takes to get her to agree to see Travis. And this will all be worth it. And you and I never talked about this, alright? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, alright, Vadim. Convince Scarlet to meet Travis. Hey, Vadim. <laughs> So, how goes the matchmaking? I have no idea who Scarlet used is. used to Diamond City security being unhelpful. Just ignore him like I do. I prefer to go to the dugout inn. Sure, I can afford the tap house. But the way those people stare at you. Right, but we gotta get out of here. Alright. We need to find this person. What the? Feral ghouls in Mass Pike Tunnel. Apo open notice to anyone with a gun and some ambush him. Feral ghoul activity is on the rise near Mass Pike Tunnel. They may not have much in the way of supplies, but they congregate near uh, areas with good salvage. Plus, friend, the world of these monsters will bring a smile to your face. Keep what you kill, no other reward given. Oh, alright. Kill uh, clear the feral ghouls from the Mass Pike Tunnel. I didn't know- uh, was that there <laughs> before? I didn't see it. Mostly because I guess I don't pay attention to things on walls, typically. 